where is that that I left my toy mouse? Sometimes I'd lose my ears if they weren't firmly attached. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Little dog, you just scared me out of a year's growth. Oh, well, excuse me, Miss Peggy. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, I should hope not. I guess I'll just go back to bed in Mr. Henry's room. I'm sorry I scared you, Miss Peggy. Now, George, I didn't mean to run you off. A little surprise once in a while is good for a body. But your tail seems to be a little low today anyway. Is something wrong? Oh, Miss Peggy, I don't think I'm fitting in here so good. Uh, I love all the petting and the, the goodies that the humans give me, but... And Mr. Henry is really kind, but... Well, but what? Well, but sometimes I get bored, and that's when I get into trouble. Well, now that's what puppies always do. What kind of trouble are we talking about here? Well, um, I was seeing how fast I could run down the hallway, and I found out it's hard to stop on that tile floor. You can crash into someone that way. Is that so? And uh, playing fetch in the dining room is frowned on, the nurse said. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, the nurse called it slobber ball and said it was unsanitary, whatever that means. Oh, humans and germs, they don't go together too well. And I thought the teddy bear on Mrs. Landon's bed looked like a fun toy. Uh-oh, you didn't. Nah, Mr. Henry caught me in time. But he scolded me real hard. But then I scared you. Oh, rough day, huh, pup? But none of those little things are so awful. You just need to find something else to do when you're bored. I've heard that border collies bore easily. I guess so. Um, what do you do when you're bored, Miss Peggy? Well, I can't help you there, pup. I don't ever get bored. Really? No way! Uh... So, uh, George, what is your favorite thing to do? Hmm. I think it's listening to, uh, to Mr. Henry read from the creator's book. You know, Miss Peggy, some humans and some animals say that that book is boring, but I think it's great. Oh, uh, me too. What part is your human reading? Oh, uh, just after Jesus went to heaven and, uh, he gave his disciples one last command to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I can't wait to see what happens next. You're in a wonderful place. Lots of great stories and accounts there. Uh, yeah. Maybe you could think about what you heard when you start to get bored. Oh, maybe. I'll try it. Hey, Miss Peggy, you want to come to Mr. George's room? I mean, Mr. Henry's room now? Um, uh, he's going to read pretty soon. Well, sure, let's go. That puppy sounds like you, Melvin. Do you play all those tricks on humans and dogs and cats because you're bored? No, I don't know. Who cares as long as I'm having fun? That kind of fun is going to get you caught, and that won't be much fun. Well, if I stop doing all the things I love, then I will be bored. You and I should spend all my time playing with you, Matilda. Ah, uh, well, but then I couldn't do the things I like to do. Uh, you can be a terrible pest, you know. Yep, that's my best talent. And second best is being hopeless. You think so, Matilda? Well, thanks. Ah, I'm going to, to sneak into Mr. Henry's room and listen to him read. You want to come? Nope. I'm going to go trip all the mouse traps in the kitchen. See ya. Melvin, come back here.